Welcome back to Project Zomboid. It's Florent here, and we are continuing the policeman challenge. So today we're actually ready to get straight into it. So I haven't haven't moved actually from the last episode. So yeah, we're we're kicking off without any change at all, which is is pretty rare for me. But yeah, so we're in Riverside. We're pretty decked out and this is day three and we are on three out of five so we're we're actually one pretty much two steps ahead of usual which is it could be the game changer we need to be able to get through West Point so all, all this made up time is gonna be a blessing when we need it at the end so yeah, hopefully, Libby Emerson is the one. So I, I did have high hopes with her from the start, if I'm honest. So just from getting through those first few places flawlessly, I was pretty hopeful. Come on. Yeah, I'd try and keep it as quiet as possible. I wonder if I can get in here actually. No alarm. That's a good sign. Oh, and the garden fork. Do you know what? I'd love to take it, but it's probably not the best idea. So we've got the, uh, and what do you call it? Um, I can't carry any of this. We got the baseball bat, so that's working wonders at the moment. So I'll keep hold of that for now. That's going to be our main weapon. I will just scoff these down quick, just to keep us going. Lovely. Surprised there wasn't an alarm on that actually. I believe it's this road. It might be one over. Yeah, I think it's definitely one over. But I'll I'll try and work my way down this way anyway. Oh. Pulled one with us. We are in a fairly quiet spot at the moment, so it's probably worth dealing with her now. Lovely stuff. Hmm. Tell you what, I'll pick these guys off. Start with a pink. Oh, no way. Come on. Good lad. Alright, there were. That's what I was going for. Little lady in pink. But yeah, it's fairly quiet down there actually. So I'm guessing there hasn't been too much activity going on, which is good. So it's helping us out a tree anyway. So it's almost a straight shot straight over, which is very rare for this place. So I think every time I've ever been here, this whole top end has just been ridiculously overwhelmed. Ah, okay, we're starting to get into something. I'll, I'll take the smaller group. I was hoping that'd be a nice little one tap, but no luck. 
Nope. There we go. Ooh, don't want to be walking. Oh, we got a few up that way. Couple down here, but nothing major. So it should be a straight shot from here. Let's just pray we don't have to break a window to get inside. Ah, it's already busted in. Nice. Makes that a little bit more dangerous. But we shouldn't have to worry about an alarm, which is always a good sign. Might just drop this shotgun out here for a sec as well. So that just gives me that little bit of extra speed that I might need. Nice and easy. Lovely stuff. Alright, back for the shotgun. And then we're inside. Basically. So I might have to break out that glass. But nothing too crazy. So it shouldn't draw any attention anyway. Unless there's Zeds inside, but I'm not too worried about that being the case. Okay, there's a few inside. Oh, this looks pretty dodgy. A little bit sketchy. Can I bang in inside as well? Oh man. No scratches. We're good. Wonder if any of these have a key. No. You might. Last one standing. Nah, no key. Think that might be it. Scope out this back room. So I can hear someone banging somewhere. Ah, of course. In the jail cell. So I don't think she'll break out of there in a the night. So those doors are usually very tough. Couple stragglers over here. Pick these off real quick. I feel like we have just got very lucky with this run. Two hunting knives. Fair. Never found those in a police car actually. <coughs> oh, no way. I didn't know that was a thing. That's pretty cool. I like that. So of course they'd have the um, little divider in the middle that would kind of separate the um, prisoner and the driver. That's cool. Everything's just locked up down here. Do you know what? I will just leave that. 
so I don't don't really want the attention. But we'll go grab our shotgun back. So the only annoying thing about this one is I'm forced to stay in this room. Which makes it a bit more exciting, but at the same time, it does make it tough. So I should have grabbed a hammer at some point, really, but it's fine. We move. But I can actually start it today, which is good. Oh, I'm limited to what I can sleep on, though. Oh, I can sleep on the chair. Take that straight through to the back room. Oh, there are some in there anyway. Nice. Could have figured that out. Cool. Alright, so to start with, clean myself up. Fill our water bottle and all our clothing as well. I suppose from here we just wait, skip through the day, listen to a Z banging on the door and just enjoy it. So that's been a nice easy one actually. So yeah I'll probably skip through till the morning from here. So yeah I'll see you shortly. Alright, we survived the night, no issues at all, so that can only mean we are off to Moldra, yeah, Moldra, wow, that's gone very quick, alright, I wonder if I can get a can of gas, ooh, is that the power, no, just at five. I was going to say, three days in, the power's going out. That's that's crazy. But no, sun is finally coming up. Alright, can I get in here without a hitch? Might be a bit risky. Always risky. Yeah, windows and doors are always a stupid idea. Every time I hop through, I always get myself in a stupid situation. Lovely. Tell you what, I'll see if there's a lug wrench and a heavy duty tire in it. Cause that would do me some wonders. think that's going to be wrong, so I think it'll be value type heavy duty. Okay, we're having no luck with that. believe this is a storage room. Oh, we did get a hammer though. Not quite what we want, but... Do you know what? I think I've got a hammer in a truck. <laughs> Course. Alright, well, power through this real quick. So I should have enough time to top our car up. Don't think they would have followed me that far. No, we're good. Through 
throw that straight in the truck. Oh, I'm just going to double check what these wheels are. Heavy duty, yeah. So we'll need a lug wrench and a heavy duty tyre. Um, I think there's a scrapyard up here actually. I think I'm going the wrong way for it, so I won't bother with it. <coughs> I have to do my best at dodging stuff. Alright, well, that's three out of five. Done in just under four days. So we're we're absolutely killing it, if I'm honest. So it gives us six days to do the next two, which is insane. As long as I can keep this car on the go, I should be alright. Hopefully. So I think the first wreck I find. I'm gonna search it just in prayer that I can find the lug wrench and get that tire sorted because I do not want another um, another situation where I'm stuck with two flat tires going through a herd like in the first run we had trying to get through West Point because that was just horrible. But yeah, I think what I might do is jump from here to the next one. There's probably no point searching that, but I'm going to do it anyway. Alright. Can we get a lug wrench? No. Be very surprised if there's one in there. Yeah, just gonna get myself hurt. Um, no, I won't bother. Cool. All right, so I jump straight from here to Moldra. See how I'll see you shortly. All right, we found a decent enough truck with awful wheels, but they're better than mine, so we're grabbing them. So I've got. I think I'm down to about 5 or 6% on our front one now, so what better place to find a wheel. God, I'm so glad it didn't damage that. Cool. Ah, 8%. That's lasted quite well. There we go. All right, so that one I'll leave in the tr leave on the floor. That one has just enough left to justify leaving it on the trunk. Right, anyway, I'll see you in Moldra. All right, so we're probably half a mile away from Moldra, so I'm just on a roadside outside of um. Is it McCoy's? The uh, log company? I think that's what they're called. But yeah, we're just up there. So I think what the plan is, is to follow this road straight down, take a right, follow it down the road that runs parallel to Moldra. Ah, oh, I didn't fill up our water. Ah, oh, this could be a problem. But yeah, anyway, the plan still stands. Take a right down the bottom of the hill and follow the road up just enough to hopefully head straight through a clearing into Moldra and just start hacking our way through on the high street. So that's that's the plan. Whether it works out well or not, I don't know. But we're going to give it a shot anyway. So I'm probably going to go for the same strategy with using 
fire to get through it. Just because I'm... Well, I'm not even five days in yet. And... We're... We're, we're this far gone already. I may as well make the most of it. So I don't want to... Don't want to go blowing it now. But yeah, I'll probably... I'm going to have to find some of the stop and get water, I think. So I would forage for berries, but I shouldn't. It's probably a very bad idea. Oh, I didn't grab any soda either. Damn it. Alright, well, I'll head down this way. See what I can see. How do you put headlights on? F. There you go. That first might be an issue. But yeah, so I'm just gonna start my way from the top, really, and just mull my way through. So I was debating going back to the bar and heading in through that way again, but if I'm gonna use the same tactic, I kinda wanna spruce it up a bit. So I think this is basically a rehash of the first attempt. Oh, that's not that rude. I don't think. Whoa. But yeah, we managed to find the lug wrench, which I was more than happy about. And get our tyre repaired, which was great. This is definitely wrong as well. I'm going to head back. Unless I'm just on a completely wrong road. Who knows? This feels like it's taken me to the high street. Oh, do not want to be hitting Zed down here. I just want to be hit. Okay, yeah, we are in the right place. Excellent. That's a whole lot busier than I thought. to be. Whatever the clearest looking place is, is where I'm going to go, I think. It might be here. Here we go, this will do. That's not good. Alright. Time to grab a Molotov. Maybe eat something as well. Alright, do you know what? I think what I'm going to do is end it just here and then kick it off in the next one just because this is going to get pretty hairy. But yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe if you're enjoying. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.